Assalamu alaikum everyone, my family, my friends, uh, everyone, everyone out there, my new family, my new friends joining us right now on hashtag LNT. I'm super excited because, uh, you know, hashtag LNT, second last episode of the special Ramadan series, episode 29. Uh, so what that means, guys, only tonight and tomorrow night for your name to be placed in the draw to win a free trip to Karbala. Now, the end of tomorrow night, is the final draw but there is a, a nice treat for you guys tomorrow's episode whoever participates simply a call says Eid Mubarak you know wishes us happy Eid he, he tells us which episode he likes the most or what he likes the most about L and T his name will be placed into the draw so that's a uh, that's huge and, and if they already participated before, like Fazi Moon and, and Zakiya and, and, and Farhad Azizi and all of them, whoever participates again in tomorrow's episode, your name is going to be placed twice in the fishbowl. So there's a huge chance of you winning. But there's also a huge chance of those who are just calling in saying Eid Mubarak and I like Ahmed Ali because he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's, he's an amazing guy. You know, I'll put your name in there too. Uh, but... Let's go jump into what's trending because tonight we're trying, to, we're trying to celebrate. We're trying to find out how you celebrate. So let's go and do that. Welcome back, everyone. Hope everyone is enjoying their night tonight. But uh, we want to begin off with, with a huge find that hit uh, the German uh, automobile company Volkswagen uh, for uh, they rigged engi uh, diesel engines. Uh, and uh, they, they got a 1.2 billion dollar fine. Uh, now the penalty was announced on Wednesday, and Volkswagen took it like a man and said, "You know what? We deserve it. We uh, we kind of broke the law, uh, and it's the highest fine for any company to be hit with." Uh, you know, it's sad to see. I like Volkswagen. Hopefully, uh, not the boss right there who said uh, it was one of the highest fines ever imposed on a company in Germany. Uh, the prosecutor said in a statement. So, um, you know, it's. They said the sales are going down, so hopefully Volkswagen can, can um, recover from that because, you know, I, I legit like that German company. Anyways, what else is trending? A new billionaire's venture is trying to split California into three states, North, West, and Central California. Up to now, uh, the Secretary of uh, State, California Secretary of State, uh, Mr. Tim uh, Draper, he said... Uh, He's, he's, he's trying to get the, uh, the mid election in, in November. Uh, and up to now, he has four, over 402,000 uh, sign signatures saying that they have agreed uh, to split California into three states. Um, is it going to happen? Is it going to be a reality? If it does, that's the second time after 1863 when West Virginia was split from the actual Virginia. Now, that's it for what's trending. And, you know, for me, California. It's going to be California if it had a west, east, whatever. It's still going to be California. Anyways, let's go jump into what's trending. Or not, what's trending, you know. Let's go jump into tonight's topic. Once again, uh, you know, uh, Eid Mubarak in advance to everyone watching us tonight. Uh, you know, as of this morning, I started this, this butterfly is wishing me Eid Mubarak as well. Uh, but uh, as of, uh, you know, as, as of this morning, uh, I've been receiving messages, bare messages on Eid Mubarak, Happy Eid and all that. You know, maybe because I'm famous, uh, but no, uh, no, really. Uh, everyone has probably gotten those messages up to now. But that only means one thing. That means that Eid is literally around the corner. Because some people are saying it's tomorrow, which is Friday, because uh, we are on Thursday. So people are saying it's Friday. People are yet to say what day it is. Um, so, uh, Eid Mubarak in advance to everyone out there. Now, you guys know uh, that Eid al-Iftar is the greatest and most delightful celebration of the year for Muslims. If you were to look at statistics and how many Muslims are out there, 1.9 billion Muslims, Baba, we're taking over the world. 1.9 billion Muslims, and 1.8 of them, 1.8 billion, they constitute if you will uh, or, or they, they're from various you know, if, if not hundreds of different cultures backgrounds races and ethnicities now 
Each race and each ethnicity celebrates Eid differently. Now tonight, it's a, it's, it's a very nice topic. It's not a debatable topic. You know, I'm not going to have an Egyptian call me as like, hey, yo, we celebrate with balloons and then the pa Palestinian call. No, I don't celebrate with balloons. I celebrate at the mosque. Whatever. It's, it's, you're not debating tonight. Tonight, what we're trying to say and what we're trying to ask is in three, two, one, hit it. How are you celebrating Eid? Simple question. Simple question. Is there anything special you're doing? Are you sleeping in during Eid? Are you, uh, are you fasting during Eid? Although it's haram, but you know, I hope you're not. Uh, but whatever you're doing during Eid, what you have to do is pick up the phone, open WhatsApp, uh, dial that number shown below, plus 9647740678136, and let us know what you think about, uh, or, or let us know what you're doing and how you're celebrating Eid. Are you taking the wife out? Are you taking the kids out? Uh, you know, uh, no girlfriends allowed. Uh, are, are you buying that nice, uh, you know, Louis Vuitton bag for her? Uh, are you, you know, knockoffs, of course. Uh, but you know, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You know, I. How are you celebrating Eid, and who are you celebrating with? You know, that's very important for tonight. Now, let's take a quick break. Let the guys bring me some water, and we'll be back very, very, very short. <laughs> Welcome back, dear viewers. Now, uh, just to remind everyone, the question is for tonight, how are you celebrating Eid? Now, very simple, very simple. If you're celebrating with your dad, go ahead. If you're celebrating with your mom, with both parents, if, and hopefully everyone's celebrating with both parents. If you're celebrating it with, with whoever, if, if you're going to a party, Eid party, you know, because one of the things that actually made me funny, made me laugh, uh, is, uh, is the fact when, uh, you know, when Ramadan is done, they throw massive aid parties with DJs and dancing and, you know, going to clubs and stuff. What? Like, how? I don't, I don't understand. You, like, you, you, you spent 30 days fasting. And who said the Quran? Bro, you finished the Quran. <laughs> and let Qadr be hitting that dua, Josh al Kabir, you know, you know, breaking your forehead on, off that turba. You know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but you know, uh, not not to say everyone, but you know, uh, uh, a lot of people they they on Eid they throw big parties with music and stuff. Um, I don't know why uh, they're trying to celebrate, but do celebrate it in, in, in a good way. You know what I mean? Uh, try to make it like have a halal party, like put Basim Karbala in, just you know, uh, rock to the tune. But Eid Mubarak, Happy Eid. Soon you'll be getting those messages, and they they be you know. Uh, Ransoming your, your your phone, they'd be taking your phone over, you know, and uh, it's it's nice to see that because it's nice to see how uh, you know on on a broader level that so many people out there, uh, I, although it's a broadcast list on WhatsApp, but you're still getting that Eid Mubarak from everyone else, uh, you know, uh, your phone's gonna be crowded with messages. Now Eid al-Fitr for those who don't know what Eid al-Fitr is, it's um, it's the end of the 30-day fasting period for Muslims. Eid al-Fitr basically means celebrating the break of the fast. A lot of people, when they read that word, Eid al-Fitr, they think it's only on Eid. But just a disclaimer and just to mention something very quickly. We celebrate Eid al-Fitr on every single day of Ramadan. Iftar, Fitr comes from the word Iftar. So basically, or... Uh, Iftar comes from the word Fatr. Well, anyways, you know what I mean. Every day when you break that fast, you're celebrating. You know, you're feasting. So on Eid, what Muslims do, they feast. But the way and the time they're feasting is during the day. So you're not fasting anymore. You know, that fasting period where you're supposed to not eat, not drink, uh, not do anything else. You know, you're not just you know restraining from yourself from food and drink. You're also not allowed to do certain, uh, you're controlling your hormones uh, is, is most importantly, uh, especially for the married ones, uh, you know, uh, from, from, from sunrise to sunset. Now, the exact date of Eid is not set. You know, today we don't know when Eid is. So tomorrow, inshallah, they're saying that the crescent will be seen or some are saying won't be seen uh, due to the weathers. But, you know, tomorrow we'll get the, the final uh, call out when Eid is, they have to see when the new moon is born. Because, uh, you know, uh, the Islamic calendar is, 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 is lunar. 
Uh, now, traditionally, Eid is celebrated around the world for Muslims. Eid is celebrated by three days. It's a holiday. No one goes to work. Everyone just stays at home. They celebrate. They feast. They see each other. They visit one another, even from different countries. They come in to see their parents. They come in to see their, their, their family members. Now, a lot of Muslims, majority of the Muslims, safe to say, on the day of Eid, they go to the mosque, they pray, uh, spending day with the family and friends and wishing one another happy Eid, Eid Mubarak, and so on and so forth, blessed Eid for everyone. Now, different cultures celebrate Eid differently. Now, in, in Egypt, they gather around in the mosque, they, in, in a congregational mosque, or right there, see right there, um, and they have balloons hung from on top of them. Now, what happens then is that after prayer, the balloons get released, and whoever catches the balloon wins. Wins what? I don't know. Uh, but, you know, they try to, coll to collect as many balloons as possible. Uh, they're probably just the idea, you know? Uh, so it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Now, some cultures, just like in Singapore, um, it's a tradition for them that on Eid, they go and visit the graves with some flowers in their hand, similar to what people do in Iraq. If you go see the graveyards in Iraq on the day of Eid, the three days of Eid, you'll see it packed. You have to park your car you know, a, a kilometer or two away, and then you have to walk all the way down. Um, so it's, that culture right there is nice, because why? They're remembering those who are not there with them on that special day. In Afghanistan, the tradition for them, the parents take their kids out to go play in the, in the playground, uh, you know, have some fun on that day, buy them new clothes, etc., etc. In India, they have um, the, the hinna that they put on their hands and feet, uh, uh, Mendi uh, as uh, uh, Mahendi. It's uh, Mendi is is not is not like the the, the, the Yemeni food Mendi. It's uh, it's where they put henna on the feet uh, and hand. But one thing to keep in mind on Eid, this one thing, the food and the sweets. You know, you're hitting that buklawa at 9 a.m. Wow. For me, I'm a huge fan of buklawa. And I don't know who sells baklava like that. That's just for photo, bro. That's just a photo shoot. Um, but you know, the, the, those sweets are deadly. You know, uh, you, you come back for dinner, your mom or, or your, your, your family or whoever, and, and you see this kind of dish ready for you. It's beautiful. Although that we see this kind of dishes, you know, on, on a regular day in Ramadan, but in Eid is different. You get a different feeling because you're eating during the day when you weren't supposed to yesterday. You know what I mean? So that feeling just runs through you. Uh, but all over the world, kids on these days running to their parents, you know, I was one of them. Even up to today, I run to my parents and I tell them, where's my idea? And, and, and uh, I did that. You know, I, I go up to my parents be like, Baba, Mama, where's my idea? And I'm going to do that, inshallah, tomorrow or the day after. But, you know, when I was little, when, when, when I used to go to my parents, you know, they would give me a couple of bucks. And it's like, here's your idea. Uh, not saying that my parents are stingy because they bought us presents as well. Uh, on a shout out to my parents. I love you guys. Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, you know, hopefully we live for another hundred years. Uh, but let's see how people around the world are celebrating Eid and how they're celebrating it. So let's go and hit it. Welcome everyone, tomorrow inshallah for Eid, I'll be going out with the family to Churchill Park Fishing Resort, which is just outside London. Inshallah, I'll be going to do fishing, me and my dad will do some fishing for the family, set up a big barbecue for the family, a big meal, sofra and fresh hair, inshallah, and I wish everyone the best of Eid. On Eid, I would be going to Brighton or Bournemouth for my family to uh, spend some time together. It's what we are meant to be doing for Eid. And I wish you guys the best Eid this year. Thank you. This Eid, I will be most likely, well, actually, definitely visiting my father and my mother at their house. And I will spend some time with the family, either going to a restaurant or maybe going to a barbecue and having the usual fun that we have every Eid. Happy Eid, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Eid Mubarak and may Allah accept all of your du'as and your amal this holy blessed month. Inshallah, this year we'll be celebrating Eid al-Fitr through Eid al-Salah prayers as usual in our centers, followed by 
the traditional breakfast at the centers as well and then heading off to our families homes and visiting and there's not really much to do here in Canada unless we have festivals uh, prepared or events organized so we wait for the weekends for that um, but it's always amazing just to be able to be given the opportunity to pray Salat al-Fatr with our community and reflecting upon all of our amal this month and what we're going to take moving forward and of course after Layal al-Qadr it's starting the new year again and so what is it that we pray during that night and how we're going to apply inshallah you know what we prayed for and how we're going to take that moving forward to the new year so it's all about that gratitude and that awareness of what Allah has given us during this month and how we can take that on and carry those blessings throughout the whole month inshallah May God bless you and remember us always in your du'as. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Planning on celebrating Eid, spending time with family and friends, especially those that I haven't seen for a while. And I believe what better time is there to reestablish connections and relationships than the event of Eid al-Fitr, an occasion in which we celebrate completing the fasting of one entire month to come by and um, get together, you know, collect and enjoy each other's company. And that is, inshallah, what I look forward to spending and celebrating my um, Eid uh, this Friday. Bismillah Taala. Welcome back, dear viewers. Uh, those vocals were just, you know, on point. Uh, thanks to the graphic designer uh, and the editor that, that, that did that, that put uh, all of them together. Uh, we just read a text message from Oh, Fuzzy Moon, okay uh, I really hope uh, those guys that continue um, uh, Joining us part and participating in the show uh, get the chance to win a uh, very high chance to win now uh, I'm going to celebrate aid with my cousin uh, and her family and, uh, and And I'm going to eat curry go meat mango masala uh, dal uh, parata roti uh, chana and potato, uh, curry Indian food, and lots of Indian sweets. Those gulab jamins. If if you come to Karbala, you have to get some gulab jamins for hashtag LNT. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you. Uh, you know, and she said, wish you can taste this food. It's heaven on earth. Trust me, I've tasted a lot of Indian food and Pakistani food. Amazing food, uh, amazing food. Uh, but thank you very much to those who uh, join us from. Uh, from uh, the world telling us how they celebrate the Eid. Uh, mainly we had uh, the, the uh, experts who joined us uh, previously. We had uh, Mr. Hussain Romethi joining us tonight, uh, Burak Hussain, the Muslim counselor, uh, and Sayyid Muhammad Hassan uh, from Washington, uh, sorry, from uh, Michigan. Um, now, uh, Zain Ruz, uh, Ruz as in rice, or you know, I'm just kidding, bro. Uh, but first of all, uh, walking, uh, waking up, getting dressed, and going to mosque uh, to do namaz, Eid, Namaz Eid, and celebrating it with uh, other Muslim brothers. After that, coming home and celebrating it with the family, going to relatives' houses uh, to get Eid too. Uh, there will be an Eid festival. Yeah, yeah, uh, I understood that. Everyone knows that. You know, what, he, what the co producer is trying to say is that Eid, according to uh, Zayn Roz, means Eid, it means that, you know, Eid gift. Everyone knows that, bro. Right. Uh, there will be an uh, an aid festival too, so might go there too with siblings. Uh, siblings, thank you very much, uh, Zayn Roz. Zayn Roz. All right, thank you very much, uh, Zayn Roz, for joining us uh, tonight. Uh, now, uh, we have Maryam, uh, Maryam Rana, she says, Salaamu Alaikum. Uh, we stay awake the whole night before Eid, uh, a.k.a. Chandra, Chandrat, decorating our hands with Hanna. Uh, and then in the morning, we get dressed uh, well, and I mostly, and I mostly sleep during the day. Uh, rest of the time, we visit relatives, and relatives visit us. We have Eid feasts, and then... Uh, the best part of Eid is Eid, the money uh, elders give to the younger uh, as a gift. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Maryam Rana. Uh, you know, everyone, you know, every Muslim saying today, I'm going to go feast on Eid. Uh, you know, <laughs> we sound like we haven't ate for 30 days, but we eat. 
why are you going to feed? I don't know. But uh, Maryam Don Fleming, Fleming uh, he says, I think I need to go uh, to a place where uh, they celebrate Eid. Okay, wow. Why? Uh, you guys don't celebrate Eid. Where are you from? Uh, let us know where you're from. Uh, and we'll send you someone to go celebrate it with you. I know I'm kidding. Uh, hashtag LNT team will come to you. Or if you win the draw, you're going to come to hashtag LNT to come to Karbala. Uh, now, uh, no, no, your name is already placed in the draw, Miriam uh, Don Fleming. Uh, your name is already in the draw. Now, uh, we're getting a few messages, but we'll get to uh, read uh, what's good in the episode for tonight, and then we'll come back to read some more Facebook comments and get some messages. Now, um, if, if, if we were to go and look at uh, the, the significance of Eid uh, and, and how, uh, and oh, sorry, why uh, Eid is so important uh, for all Muslims around the world, Eid. And this special celebration is the perfect opportunity for Muslims um, to reunite their families together. If, if you're not talking to a sibling, you know, for, for, for some minor issues uh, or for some issues, just overcome that, try to bring all the family together uh, and, and try to celebrate it all together because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who celebrate it uh, together. Now, um, it's, it's another perfect opportunity to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and, and say to Allah that, you know what, these 30 days I stayed, um, I stayed clean, uh, I changed myself, I, I disciplined myself, uh, I became a better person. So in return, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or you should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to shower you with his blessings and mercy because honestly, this whole month was a month of blessings and mercy to everyone. Now, religiously speaking, if we were to go to the Islamic perspective of Eid and how people uh, in Islam would or should or how they are recommended to celebrate Eid. Now, there's one mandatory thing to do on Eid, one mandatory deed, and that's Zakat al-Fitr. Now, Zakat al-Fitr means you give the uh, portion of money or uh, three kilograms of flour, or you give the equivalent money to, to those three kilograms uh, to the poor. That's res the responsibility, uh, that's the responsibility of the head of the home. So the father, uh, the husband, um, is responsible to take that out and give to the poor. Uh, and it differs from country to country, in the US it differs from the UK, and so on and so forth. Uh, in Iraq, it's al funus uh, or al furubwa that's like what, a dollar or a dollar twenty cents, um, which is not a lot uh, for someone to give. And three kilograms per person. So if uh, you have like, what, 20 children, uh, you're paying, uh, no, no, you're, you're three, 60, 60 kilograms, so in Iraq we call it aguniyeh. You're paying 60 kilograms of flour uh, to the poor. <coughs> but, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice way to, to, to give back to the poor. Now, what else is special about Eid? Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very nice to see that, you know what, not just uh, the family is celebrating it together. Uh, especially in, in Middle Eastern countries, we see families uh, coming in and out of e each other's uh, or, or friends or neighbors visiting their other neighbors trying to celebrate Eid trying to bring that smile uh, to everyone around them whether they're neighbors uh, whether they're, they're you know far relatives uh, simple text message to someone that you know which we just received one right now uh, would make the day of that person uh, but we see the text message from Asmat Mahdi what does uh, she say? We are celebrating Eid uh, with my family. Uh, we pray for all Muslims and especially Ta'jil Imam Zamana. Uh, the day of uh, celebration includes especially, especially gifts uh, are given out to the poor. Thank you very much, Asmat Mahdi from India. Uh, now, I'll just repeat what I said earlier on uh, in the episode. I said whoever tomorrow is the final day. Do you have your name's place in this fishbowl? So, Tomorrow we're uh, giving a, a, a special chance for everyone uh, to participate. If whoever participated, your chance to participate again. So again, for those who participated, second chance to put their names in here. And for those who haven't participated yet, all you have to do is call us, send us a text message, a voice message, and let us know how you're, uh, let us know by saying, Eid Mubarak, this is the first option you have, Eid Mubarak, which episode did you like uh, the most about hashtag LNT? The second option is Eid Mubarak and letting us know what your favorite part of hashtag LNT is. So general, specific. 
which one do you want? And uh, the lines will be open from the beginning of the episode all the way until the end uh, where we have just to put the names and do the final draw. So we won't have a topic, just it's for you guys, so you guys have the chance to celebrate it with us. Now recommended, we talked about the mandatory, the recommended uh, is ghusl. You guys all know what ghusl is, you do it after you know you know what. Uh, wearing new clothes, it's, uh, it's, it's nice, looking clean, smelling clean. Uh, perform prayer of Eid, it's, very, it's highly mustahab. Uh, reciting ziyarah of Muhammad Hassan al-Islam, very, very mustahab, very recommended for those uh, living abroad. For those living in Iraq or especially in Karbala, you'll see Karbala packed on a day of Eid. Uh, reciting Dua and Nidba is also important to remember <coughs> Imam Al-Zaman, Ayatollah Farjur al Sharif. Um, but on behalf of hashtag LNT, second last episode of this Ramadan series, after Ramadan, hashtag LNT will go back to its original time, 10.30 after Ramadan, every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So keep that in mind. No one forget that. After Ramadan, 10.30 p.m. Karbala time. Uh, we'll also uh, put our commercial as well to let you guys know uh, as well. But thank you very much. Eid Mubarak, happy Eid in advance. Don't forget tomorrow's episode, final draw. You don't want to miss a free trip to Karbala along with many, many giveaways. Tomorrow we're having the giveaways place right here so you guys can enjoy the episode. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.